Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm playing a game named Don't Go Sad the World with my dad. Hello everyone. So, this game, um, it's from funbrain.com and if you visit their website, you will find a tons of fun uh, kids games. So, let's start. So, this game is about international dining etiquette quiz and if we are ready, let's dig in. Oh, we do set up the rules. So, there are going to be questions about different cuisines and food etiquette and me and Azu we're gonna choose our answers and whoever gets the most correct answers will win yay <laughs> so let's start all right first up is South Korea, South Korea. <laughs> yeah, it says who should eat first when sitting with a Korean family so who should eat first if we are sitting with a Korean family, okay? Is it the oldest person at the table or the head of the household or the youngest member of the family? The oldest people. Oldest people? Okay, uh, I'm gonna go with the head of the household. So Azu is gonna go with the first one. I'm right. And Azu is right. Azu got one point, I lost. So let's let's learn why they do that so many people in korea they follow confucian rules which say that the oldest person eats first also younger people should never eat faster than older people wow so you cannot eat faster than me i don't even know how to eat fast <laughs> and if twins are seated the older twin eats first under these rules wow amazing let's move on Next question. It's from Iran. Um, so it's a Persian cuisine, all right? Persian food etiquette. If you're left-handed and your Iranian host gives you a right-handed fork by mistake, what should you do, all right? So should you just eat with the fork in your right hand or you should wait until everyone is done and use whatever fork you can find with your left hand or you eat with your hands? I'm gonna go with Eat with your hands. Okay, so you're gonna go with eat with your right hand or wait until everyone is done and then use whatever fork you want. The second option? Okay, let's try the second option. Let's see. No, you're wrong. I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with eat with your hands. No way! We okay, both so won. the right answer is just eat with the fork in your right hand. Because there's no such thing as a right handed fork or a left handed fork. Gotcha! The, the question fooled me. Okay, in Iran, people always eat with their right hand. The left hand is reserved for they bodily both, function. They this both is, yeah. This is true in many countries. Oh, that's true. Okay, moving on. Chinese food. Do Chinese parents traditionally make their kids eat everything on their plates? So it means if... Do you think Chinese parents make their kids eat everything on their plate? No. Um, no. First option, no. Cleaning your plate in China is considered rude. Second option is yes, nobody wants to waste food. And third option is no, only if they want dessert. I'm gonna go with um, no, cleaning your plate is in China is considered rude. I'm gonna go with the middle one. What was this? Yes, nobody wants to waste food. Okay, let's try this out. No! <laughs> no! Okay, let me let me try my answer. You no. Yes, I did it. Got one point. Finally, I'm on the board. So it says in China, finishing. Yeah, you got one point as well. So let's learn why they do that. In China, finishing everything on your plate is often considered rude, 
because everybody might think you didn't get enough food and you're still hungry. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Okay, let's move on to the next question. So, in Canada, okay, this is a Canadian question. We have to get this right. In Canada, how do the Inuit people say thank you? The food was excellent. So, when they really like your food and they thank you, how do they do that, okay? Option A, they leave coins under the plate. Option B, they do not say anything. Speaking after a meal is considered rude. Number three, they burp to say thank you. I'm going to go with they burp. First, you choose your answer. I'm going to choose leave coins under their plate. plate. Okay, let's see. Let's see if you're right or wrong. No! Let me check my answer. I'm right! I, uh, yes! Good job. How do they pay in Canada if no, they it's, it's burp? It's Inuit people, so they're First Nation people, okay? And this is the way they say thank you when their food, when they find something really good, like when, when they really like their food. So, yes, indeed, burping is considered a sign of thanks. It's said that South Sea Islanders do the same thing, or maybe it's all those spices. Mm. I never burped. But to say thank you, I never did that. I, I just said thank you to everyone. Right. So, moving on to Mexico. Mexico. In Mexico, what is mole sauce? So, what is mole sauce, okay? Is it a tomatillo and garlic sauce? That means, is it a tomato and garlic sauce? Or it's a sauce made with onion, garlic, chocolate, and spices? Or... Is it a type of medicine used to prevent moles? Uh, can you pass? Okay. So in Mexico, what is mole sauce? Is it a tomatillo and garlic sauce? A sauce made with onion, garlic, chocolate, and spices? Or is it a type of medicine used to prevent moles? Uh, I, think I think it's it's spelled as mole sauce. Yeah. I think it's the top one. The tomatillo and garlic? Okay, I'm gonna go with the sauce made with onion, garlic, chocolate, and spices. No! It's okay, Azu. It's just a game. Don't worry. I got it right again. Yay! Aren't you happy for me? No? Okay, good. So, this mole sauce is made of onion, garlic, Chocolate and spices. Mole comes from the indigenous Nahuatl people who have lived in Mexico for centuries. It is one of Mexico's national dishes and has a bittersweet flavor. It is used on meats, rice, and vegetables. Good to know. Have you ever heard of a mole sauce? No. Neither. I think it's like a new sauce. Right. Moving on to the next one. Wow, Irish. Food. When dining in Ireland, you will often see a little plate at your place setting. What is this plate for? So you'll always have a small plate with all the other plates you have, okay? Is it for dipping sauce? The peelings from your potato or bread? For dipping sauce. Dipping sauce? I'm gonna go with peelings from your potato. I'm gonna go for Okay. No way! Okay, let me see if I'm right. I'm right this time! The peelings from your potato. So it says this little plate you will sometimes find at your seat in Ireland is for the peelings from your broiled potato. To peel your potato, you should use your fork to hold down the potato and your knife to peel. That seems kind of tricky, huh? Tricky, tricky, tricky. Tricky, tricky. All right, now moving on to South Korea again, okay? Your host offers you a cup of tea in Korea, okay? So your host is offering you a cup of tea in Korea. What should you do? Should you accept it with both hands? Say, no, thank you, and go get it yourself or let them take the first sip? Uh, I think I'll go with the middle one this time. Say, no, thank you, and go get it yourself? I'm gonna go with accept it with both hands. Ah, it's wrong. <laughs> hey, 
Why didn't you? Why didn't you? Okay, I'm doing good this time. Just, okay. If I just win those three, I'll win the whole game. Probably. It doesn't matter who wins. It's, it's the same. It's us, right? So in Korea, if someone older than you hands you food or drink, you are supposed to accept it with two hands. So if someone's giving you coffee and it's an elderly person, you need to grab it with both hands instead of using just one. Okay? I'm gonna say thank you. Right. And, yeah. English food. What do most English people think about? Oh, <clears throat> what do most English people think about Americans <laughs> eating fried chicken with their hands? So you know, English people, people living in England, what do they think about us Americans eating fried chicken with our bare hands? Okay. Do they think that it's okay if there are no utensils around? Utensils means spoons, forks, and stuff, okay? You know that? Great. Or the English would never fry a chicken. Or chicken should be boiled, not fried. I don't know. It says it's okay if there are no utensils around. And I'm gonna go with chicken should be boiled, not fried, okay? Who eats chicken with? I don't know. I like to eat fried chicken with my bare hands. You know, we go to we go to Popeyes or KFC and we eat with our bare hands. Yeah, I do. Wow. I do that too. Okay, so it says the English say if there are no utensils around, it's okay to eat with the hands. Asking for utensils would be an insult to the cook. It would mean you didn't want to just dive into the food. Oh, no, actually I got it wrong. So the English people, they're fine with it and they really don't care if there's no utensils around. Okay? Papa, yeah. The way chicken made me hungry by accident, I don't know. You're hungry? Okay, two more rounds, okay? And then yeah. we're gonna have our lunch. Ah. I feel bad, but it's just two more rounds, I don't know. Yeah. Shall we finish it? Yeah. Moving on to China. What does it mean if you place your chopsticks over each other in an X shape? So what does it mean in China if you place your chopsticks like this? Yeah, and make an X. So does it mean death, love, or I'm still hungry? Love. You will go with love? Yeah, because this is the word kiss. Kiss? Okay, I'm gonna go with I'm still hungry. Okay. Let's 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 I'm let's go and check. Okay, let's see. No. This one's good. You um, but it, remember, it's in China, okay? It's it's what? It means death. Death? What? Death? Who would put like chopsticks and then like you know it's it's about food? Why? It has to How be so they dark. Even know? Okay, so it says, cross chopsticks have long been a symbol of death in China and in ancient times would be used as threats or warnings. Don't cross your chopsticks in China. You might frighten your host. Next time I'm gonna, gonna go to China, I'm gonna do that. Put my chopsticks like but then You might frighten them. Yeah. But why do you frighten them when you put your chopsticks All right. Mm, that's a good question. I'll answer it later, okay? Last question, yeah, okay. ask me. That plate looks like a sun. <laughs> it does. It looks funny, maybe they like decorate. Yeah, stuff. I know. I agree with you, it looks like a sun. Okay, so last question. Okay, whoever gets this wins all. The whole game. <laughs> What's a common breakfast in Haiti? Okay, so Haiti is a country. What's their common breakfast, okay? Is it tapioca pudding and coconut, or bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich, or spaghetti with hot dogs? So is it tapioca pudding and coconut, or is it bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich, or spaghetti with hot dogs? Spaghetti with hot dogs. I'm gonna go with tapioca pudding and coconut. Right. I won the oh, No way! No way! But you you won the whole game! game. Yeah, but you it doesn't matter. We went all in on the final question. Okay, let's learn 
what they have to say about this. So a common Haitian breakfast is spaghetti, uh, spaghetti, which is spaghetti with hot dogs. Other common <laughs> breakfasts include plantain porridge, mai molen, which is mashed corn, and eggs with plantains. Akasan or corn flour shakes are also popular and delicious. <laughs> I feel stupid. I lost the whole game. Anyways, it was a great game. We hope you liked our video. There are more rounds to this game, but yes. we're gonna play that in, in our next video. Yeah, in a different game. And make sure to subscribe and like. Yeah, hope to see you soon. Take Bye. care. Bye. Thanks for watching my video. Keep coming back to my channel non-stop.